welcome to uh, the Deerfield Finance Committee uh, holding a public meeting um, uh, July 9th, 2019 at 6 p.m. the Deerfield Municipal Buildings in 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. Call the meeting to order. Um, the first order of business is to reorganize. It'll be first meeting of this year. And um, um, I would take nominations for a chair. We have to do a chair, a vice chair, and a clerk. Um, so I'll nominate Skip for the chair. Second. I'll do it for one more year after that. On to somebody else. Somebody else. Okay. Yes. Unless somebody else really wants. Anybody to else want to take chair? So we have one nomination, a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting is yours. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why? Uh, Vice chair. John. Nominate John. Hmm. Do it again? I'll do it again as long as we understand that I can't do things during the day. It's usually. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can't do things during the day. But finance. You don't stuff. get up until finance 5 o'clock in the afternoon? What is it? All right. So I, I will uh, nominate. Uh, I already did it. Oh, you did. Oh. Second. Or did somebody <laughs> already do that? No. I'll second that. Okay. Move the nominations be closed. Second. All right. All those in favor of John Presky as the uh, vice chair? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Yep. Uh, clerk. Do we have? Do we have any? Uh, we do need somebody to take notes. I, and I would reluctantly volunteer. If there was somebody else who would prefer to do it, I would strongly support them. But I know without Bruce, um, he was taking our minutes. I'd be happy to try. I might need some when support. When you said that, that's a sign of weakness. Yeah. So I make a motion that you become our secretary. <laughs> so, no, secretary. Okay. So, so you guys will be very forgiving with the minutes. We are, we are very forgiving. Um, all right. That's wonderful. Thank you. Let, Thank me, you take, let me give you one bit of advice about working. <laughs> take what I can get. It's very simple. What you do is, when somebody's talking, you don't have to take copious notes for all these different ideas that are going on. Uh -huh. You just state a subject. You have to have the motions in there. You don't even have to have a name for the person having a motion. As long as you have a motion and a second, and you have a vote, you have to state what the vote is. All right. And you can just say there was a discussion about, I used to take meetings for the select board and a few other boards, and my notes typically are one page to two pages. Right. The people that are gun ho do five and ten pages. I could usually get mine on these. <laughs> <laughs> so my suggestion to you is look to skinny it down as much as you can. That makes it as simple as possible and easier for you. Mm -hmm. Either that or give Bruce a call and ask him how the hell he did it. <laughs> no, I might have to copy his format. The first one's going to be weird. And, and thank you for volunteering, too. Yes. I have a tendency to write down everything I hear as a way to keep track of what's going on. So it's, it's hard to do both. You can, you probably going to be a work. It'll Seven be, or eight pages. <laughs> it'll be a process. I'll work okay. on it. Okay. That's I'll great. Feedback. That's great. Okay, make it official. All those in favor of Allison for the uh, Aye. work. Aye. 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 Uh, why don't we go around, since we do have one new member, and mm -hmm. uh, Allison, if you will start. Just say what your name is. I'm Allie Al Allison Vandervelden. John Pereski. Skip Olmstead. Bruce St. Peters. Jeff Upton. Julie Chalfont. And John Pachorek. We're going to give you a test in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you don't have to worry. She already knows me because she marches with me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, we don't have the minutes from the previous meeting uh, here with us. Are they being worked on? We, hmm? Are they being in process? Uh, they need to be copied. That's all. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> we do need, whether we do it now or later, we do need to appoint someone as the committee's representative to the personnel board. 
And at this point in time, as I understand it, if we were to appoint someone, you would be then the personnel board. Well, there's one. No, we have one other. Oh, we have, do we do have a member. Yeah, we do have a member of, of personnel, and we're working on trying to see anybody. Anybody else out there would love to be part of the personnel so board? We could really use your help. Is anyone uh, here who would like to be a member or was willing, let me put it that way, to be a member of the personnel board, finance committee rep? When do they meet? The, usually the first Monday of every month. Did you just say that? Yeah. No. No, I don't think I did. Uh, but so first Monday of, of every month. So if anyone wants to um, do that, it's usually an hour or so meeting, not that long. And then once in a while they'll have an emergency meeting if there's something came up. Do you the, know what time they meet? They usually meet, I believe, at five o'clock in the kitchen here. Yep. You want to volunteer? I I'll nominate you. Volunteer at the moment. But it's a good. But I, think I can about it. Think come about back. It. Great. I'm a little overextended, but I would otherwise be interested. It would be wonderful to have you on there. Great. So, the only thing I'll do is I'll put my dibs in to not do it. <laughs> I did it for two years in a row. And for two years in a row, we had recommendations for two town meetings and two special meetings. And a selectman threw it all out. Didn't accept one thing. The lawyer said, oh, it's only 80% correct. I said, you idiot, you're better off to have 80% corrected than nothing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I won't volunteer for that one again. <laughs> well, it's a whole new board Don't this time. So. <laughs> no, it can be a good committee, yes. but the selectmen have to learn to listen to their committees. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. <laughs> they haven't yet. Seems like we've had two personnel committees that have resigned because of the actions of this. Yeah. So well, wow. <laughs> I. I've acted pretty straight up and down on that. Uh, well, you're a new chairman, deference. so now you've right. got to turn around and make sure you do the right thing. I will. Brenda's I will try. Yeah, so I'll go get Brenda. Yeah, to yeah no, she's, been she's, got, she's got all the work for us. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to pass this around. We, we, may, we may have to do this. Uh, and we can discuss this. Here, I'll, I'll check on it. As soon as... Uh, as soon as Brenda comes in. Oh. This is Thursday. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. I'll well, let Brenda explain. So this is tentative. This is tentative at this point in time. And, and I, you know, after brief discussion with Brenda this afternoon at 3 o'clock, uh, I posted the meeting. Thank you. So that uh, we would be able to do whatever it is what that you we need to do. That's yeah, what you just yeah. passed out. Well, no. Look at, look at here. Well, yeah. It's a, it's, I see the date change, but uh, the rest of it's the same. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not sure that we're going to get through the. Oh, Brenda, I don't think Brenda's ready. Yes. Oh. Are we going to have a meeting on the 11th? We may, because we need to get something to need to get this stuff done. And Brenda's not ready. She's overwhelmed at this point in time. With oh, really? Stuff. OK. Just a heads up, Skip, that would be a question mark for me. I would try to make it, obviously, but I could run into I, a problem with that. I think so, I mean, most of this stuff is pretty cut and dry. Yeah. As long as we could get a quorum. Mm -hmm. You're going to be down at the Cape? No, I'm going to be on the first Thursday where I typically meet with all the military retirees and we sit down and have pizza and beer. That's and not the first Thursday. Honestly, that's it's not the first Thursday this. because it was July 4th. Uh -huh. and they, so we postponed it for one week. So this is our automatic first Thursday. We've been doing it for about 25 years. Good for you. What time? I start at the Polish Club at 6.30, so if you make it at 6, I'll probably be here. 7. And then at 7, we go to uh, Wolfie's. Say it again, 6.30 at the Polish Club, 7 o'clock at Wolfie's? Yep. Everybody's invited. So we're having a fine time. Yeah, bring, we a, we bring a big pocketbook. <laughs> For pocket <five o'clock. laughs> Retirees. Just change the meeting to the... No, we, we've allowed anybody that's who is military that would like to come in to come in, and we just 
Tell stories, that's all. Have a good time. Six o'clock in the So if you feel for it next Thursday after the meeting, you can come down and break a couple of beers with us and have some pizza or, or order what you want. People order uh, subs and uh, we just sit down there and talk about, you know, we got one guy who was a lieutenant back 45 years ago who comes in and he never retired, but he's remembered. Anybody else who served that wants to join us is welcome to. Let's see, I get out in 67, so it's, that, it's 50 years. It's got to be. Me too, what day? Uh, July 6th. Uh, July 6th. I don't know. <coughs> Started on the 7th and get out on the 6th. Start on the 13th, get out on the 12th. Right to the day. Uh, Trevor's Xeroxing some stuff for, I assume, <clears throat> for us. So we've got two things here for you to start. She's working on a couple of others. Um, I'll first pass out. This is a transfer from Chief Pachura. He is looking to transfer from his payroll uh, to cover some expense. So it's not a transfer from the reserve transfer fund, but inter um, interdepartment. Yep, it's just in, yeah, it's just true. Right, right. He's uh, his own department from one line to another, I guess. And then I'll pass out here. This is a reserve transfer fund for legal counsel. How much more? Uh, Seventeen thousand. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Planning board. Uh, and then she'll she's working on others, and we'll bring some out to you. So let's let's take the uh, reserve fund transfer first. Legal counsel. I'm assuming that the balance in the account at this point in time is a negative $16,312.29. Correct. So this is to bring the account into balance. Yes. Uh, I don't have any answers, so if you have questions. Uh, Make a motion. We approve the $17,000 transfer. Second. It's moved and seconded. Any, any comments, any questions? I don't like it, but, you know, it's, it's something we have to do. Is, yeah. And we have the money, so. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. <clears throat> it was unanimous, right? Everybody did vote. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> let's see. This is July 9th. something that tells us how much is in the reserve fund? Uh, yes, on our uh, annual budget. If you look at this thing yeah. at the end, they tell you what's left in the reserve fund. Well, that's only of May, as of May. You'll have to go for yeah. legal yeah. expenses, uh, yeah. We didn't, there were, there were no transfers last month, so whatever's in there should be. Correct. Usually we start with $100,000 for a year. And then when something comes up that they really need or unforeseen, then we just vote to support it. So, Trevor, are you familiar with the uh, with John's? Uh, I'm not entirely. Just talking with uh, Brenda. I think it was uh, there was some expense. Let's see. Um, Oh, yes, this is to, um, we had approved to um, kind of front load some um, 
personnel training to, to the police academy. We're losing mm -hmm. quite a few police officers, yeah, yeah. and so the idea was to try and front load some of this in to get to get them into into the academy early. Um, spaces are tight, and it's hard to get people to do it. So we, I think, we're would be foreseeing a lot of the retirements that are coming up and people are moving on to other state police or whatever, we're trying to do some of that training early. So this was a kind of a, a thing we decided to move forward on early to kind of front load that training so we're staffed, you know, when these when these changes occur coming up. So we train, the request is for 65, 73, 39 to transfer from, I assume that's from the salary yeah, account? Yes, it is. To, yep. uh, to the general expense. Yes. General expense. Yep. I'm not sure what the four thousand four dollars and four cents is. Um, I think that's what's in the account right now and doesn't cover an, uh, what what okay. we're going to need. Any believe. So this is for people for that are people. coming to Deerfield. That yes, and Deerfield we're sending them for police officers. training. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. It, I think it, it's it, full time. John explain, I, uh, had explained it back at the. During budget hearings, see, there's several people retiring, and rather than reduce his labor budget at that point in time, because you would have new hires, he did explain that that would you probably, that you know, he could he would be requesting a, 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 so that mm -hmm. extra money that he was not going to be mm -hmm. using on the personnel to um, do some of this training for the mm -hmm. new hires. Yeah. And I, academy, right? Yeah, and I guess it's, it really doesn't even come under this last clause. Expenditure is extraordinary and unforeseen mm. because that would be a reserve uh, transfer, and Correct. this is an interdepartment. That's transfer. right. It's just so moving from. Line I don't to think line. that statement is even necessary. So. Right. But. Okay. There's a two, difference between the two. Uh, any any other questions? Are we ready? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, oh was there a motion? Good. Does someone make a motion? Uh, no motion yet. Oh, no I'm motion. sorry. I thought you. Thought no. You. Okay. Oh, then I'll make a motion. Can you, you make a motion? Move it. Yes. To the PD or? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, it's not. Uh, then I'll second. The only two things that I can't do is I can't talk about John's pay. And his benefits. Other than that, I can talk about anything, any policy, or anything in the police okay. department. Then I second. So it's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Is that unanimous? Looks at it. It is, right? Yes. Shall we? Let's see if there's more things that we can. Yes, I will. I see she's done. Poor Brenda. We're probably going to need Brenda here. Let's just say she's happy to go back. Sometimes we have to go back to some of these. Not that you have to, it's just a habit that I can do too. Because sometimes you do go back to refer to Cruiser. How much is in there? The Cruiser ended up being 54000 bucks, if I remember correctly. I think it's that about right. Pardon? Cost of a yeah, new cruiser? Probably the cruiser. You're probably right. I don't know. Uh, it was over well over fifty. Well over fifty. Because 000. originally, it, I think it got bumped to forty nine or something like that, and then they found out that they couldn't transfer the interior Some of the equipment, right? Yeah, and so uh, because they changed everything, so we came back and bumped it up. I think it was around 54 off the yeah. top of my I head. I think he could be covered wrong. that when I was on vacation in Florida, so I wasn't yeah. even here. Right. But they did have a, a bump up because of that, because yep. of the new vehicle. Right. Compared they, to the they, older ones, right? Yeah, because they originally had trans that transferring the right. insides, but they changed around the insides too. So they right, couldn't so do they that. couldn't do that. No. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. Do we have any minutes from a previous meeting? Uh, yeah, we didn't. I didn't print them out. Uh, Bruce sent them to me, and I'm sure he sent them to uh, town administrator. But yeah, he was sure. on vacation this week. Okay. Passing through. Sarah, uh, 
Saturday when, when they were they had them. So I have to check them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know. So I have two other requests uh, for transfer funds. Um, yeah, I saw it. I saw that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six hundred dollars um, for the ZBA. Um, they had more mailings than they had budgeted for this year, so kind of cover their other mailing costs for the ZBA. And then the other, um, the other transfer is for IT, um, uh, Barb's computer um, crashed, and um, so we had to cover the cost <coughs> replacing that computer. It wasn't, wasn't anticipated in the IT work that we are doing. You don't anticipate them crashing? No, we try not to. I mean, we try to play it for them, but... Uh, it's, it's nice to have the Port of Selectman being useful. You know? That's right. <laughs> for a change, right? <laughs> How do you like to step up in your position there, Trevor? I enjoy it. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> Make a motion we approve the $600. Second. Any, any uh, discussion? Which one are we on? This one, the one that says 600 ZBA. Oh, 600 Oh. <clears throat> This is what it is. I know they've been busy this year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Yeah, somebody second it. Okay. Moved and seconded. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries unanimous. Mm hmm. Have one for a thousand dollars. A request for transfer for IT hardware. So moved. Second. second. It's moved. It's been seconded. Any discussion? There is none. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that unanimous? Yep. Okay. Have time tonight to discuss the override vote and the significance of the yay and the nays? Uh, we certainly could discuss it. I don't know what to, maybe Trevor has some. That's what I want to ask him. Insight, insight. into it. I don't know. Uh, it sounded to me like they just need to do a little more education. And sounds like they have to do a lot more education. Yeah, people were confused. I think there were a couple of people that turned around, put their ballot down, and just walked out because they were too confused. Yeah, so I, I think that is hopeful because they can be educated. We well, the, my again. concern is this: I don't like spending any of that money for the sewer, but it is really, really necessary. And if we don't do it now, every year we stall it off. It's going to cost another million dollars yeah. every year goes up roughly 3.6% every year. And we're talking basically a $20 million budget, and that doesn't include old Deerfield or any any right. other things. That's the thing. And that the problem is that the town does own it. That's finally been proven. And if we didn't have this conflicting policy thing back in 2002, we probably could have gotten this whole project done for $25 million instead of $40 million by the time we get through. So it kind of bothers me, and unfortunately we... We've got to start educating people that there's a cost to a no vote. 
Well, I've, I've mentioned this to Trevor on several occasions, and I've mentioned it Thank to you. Well, Thank you. to the former chairman of the, of the select board and the other member of the board of selectmen. I think we absolutely need to have a building committee established, as we have in the past, for major construction. This is a major construction. The selectmen, in my opinion, need to designate someone to handle That's what they did with the school committee. They when did. they had a problem, you had a building did. committee for the school, did. and they made all the decisions. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what you need. And yeah, I think did so. it with a highway garage, too. Yeah. Same way with a highway garage. We'll get there. We need that vote first. We're, we'll be there. But we need the committee first. Well, we I don't need know the committee about that. at the same time. Well, I agree with that. Oh, so I'll buy that. So this is a, um, a, a again an inter-office transfer. Um, the highway, um, the highway, uh, the transfer station um, was overspent a bit. We had uh, added a new hire at the end of the year, and we had some higher than expected, um, uh, you know, disposal costs. So we're transferring two thousand dollars from the highway department just in, into the transfer station to cover the seventeen seventy. Seven, uh, we have a new hire down at the transfer station? We have a new hire at the transfer station, a part-time. Yep, so now we have two people there for safety at all times. Um, before, we only had one person on, on the weekdays. Um, now we have two people there during the weekday. What was the driving force behind that, Trevor, as far as adding that additional person? There were, well, <laughs> there was some, some of that. Um, <laughs> Uh, the guy came very highly recommended, but we did, you know, aside from the person itself, I think it was a safety issue that, you know, people felt like they, um, they couldn't go anywhere if they had to go anywhere. If there was any issues, there was, you know, if somebody got hurt there, there was no one there to report. So mm -hmm. I think it was safety to just make sure we had two people on at one time, somebody watching the gate, somebody watching down here, somebody up at the other end. Um, so, and he's a part-time position. He, the person who filled the position came with a ton of experience. I think he was at UMass doing a lot of their recycling and, and um, uh, waste management. Um, very, very knowledgeable guy. He's, I think, going to be very good up there for helping, you know, you know making some changes there to, to, to guide us in a, in a better direction. But we've been good. I mean, we've been breaking even for the last few years um, up there. It's, you know, before it was really always a lost leader. I think we we're always always right. under budget. So I know we've been pretty close the last couple of years. Yep, yep. It's so with the that. additional staff, you believe that uh, we'll also be increasing revenues there a little bit to cover I that think cost? so. I think so too because they're very attentive right now on checking those stickers when they're coming in. They're very, you know, you know, of course this is the time of year where everybody gets a sticker when they go in, but um, having that extra staff to be at that gate watching people when they come in and I think eventually we have an appropriation to change the flow there and move the fence and all. Right. We've been waiting to see what's going on with the solar thing, but um, I think once we set that up, we'll be able to we'll be able to take in a lot more money. And, and um, I worry about the cost of recycling down the road because China's not buying a lot. So we've got a, a bit to learn there and where that mm -hmm. those costs are going to impact us. Um, but I think we'll be in good shape. Okay. Yep. I, I have a question. Maybe you. Uh, Talk to uh, Kevin about it. How come the sticker st stickers are so far off this year, as far as the revenue? Uh, I saw that too in the report. You mean? Yeah. I yeah. thought in last year's report. I think it was just the um, the the cycle. I because I don't think it's, and maybe you'll know better. I don't, I haven't looked back at the other years at, at this date and time. Is is the um, number of stickers sold low? I know they've been selling them a ton the last few Saturdays, and I'm not sure about here too, but. Um, I don't know if it's just a timing thing, uh, but it could be. Yeah, but I noticed that to too. I was like, "Whoa, you're you're way off from where you should be." And I, I think when I I think I asked Kevin about it or maybe Barb about it, and they were, um, it's just a kind of a timing thing that yeah. should catch up. Part of I hope so. If you get the money in in June, it goes in one year. You get it in July, it goes in the following year. Yeah, which I understand, but that but that should have also happened last year as well. Right? Yeah. So so that we, cycle should have been. We'll the check same back right on here. that and yeah. see. Yeah. It's a good point. You know, so so the cycle should have been you know, already booted in for this year from last year. Too. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. It still ends up. And that's why it kind of looked like it was it, way off. It was like half half what we expected, right? right? I mean, that's what I was looking at for it the number. Should be 
similar figures. Right. Well. Right. Yeah. Yes. Even it's from year that. to year. At least the number of stickers sold should have been. Right. right. Each year should be roughly the same. Yeah. Did Did you happen to ask them what the numbers were? I haven't yet. You know, there again, I understand it's 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 not. Uh, you know, they haven't done this full They've, cycle. Right. It's but, almost done. As but. I said, you know, the lump lumped over last year because you have the same date. Now. Right. Right. So should, it should be, be should somewhat be similar. similar. Yeah, I'll find out. I'll, I'll find out and get an answer on that. Because that's kind of a drastic uh, <coughs> uh, reduction in uh, revenue on that one. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. Uh, we've got a request for a $2,000 transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's inter department. Yes. Uh, motion we approve. Second. Do you want to read? So, yeah, so this is this is from general highway expense to the transfer station. Yes. This is not a reserve fund transfer. Correct. So the amount is two thousand dollars. Is there a motion? Yep. Yeah. 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 We've got a motion to it was and seconded also. It was and moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. And aye. aye. Opposed? Is that unanimous? Yep. Okay. You see the report. The thing that says one, one at a time. Keeping Trevor. You should have to go back. That would be under. Bruce, you had that. What's that? The, the uh, transfer station oh. difference there. Oh. You have under the uh, fees dump stickers. There it yeah. is. That should be it. Yeah. You take oh, a look so at the that budget, figure. this right. is what we had last year. Right. And, and that's where we're at this, this year. year. So that's, there seems to be or appears to be a discrepancy. But this is also at the end of the minute. Right. Well, I know one should, even though June's it's going through the same cycle though from year to year, they yeah, should be pretty say, close to the same the dollar amount. The last year were for the entire year, weren't they? The oh, so the budget isn't the annual budget? The budget well, yeah, is but the, through yeah, as I said, you, you the floated the over from last year. Yes, this is yeah, just so a, a running month. budget for you. The cycle goes from July 1st to June 30th. Right. That's the reason we're having a meeting in July because you have. He goes up there. One well, paper is a two week period that you can turn around and make changes to your budget and stuff and vote it so it's retroactive to last year's yeah. budget. And if you see something else, But this budget column is year to date, not for the whole year. budget, yeah. So that's year to date, though. So that should be right. budgeted through the end of May, not for the full year. And the expense no, is what? The, yeah, this spent. this thing is budgeted for the full year, regional budget for the year. Okay. So all these like the 400. Uh, okay. You're doing a hell of a job. Every time you walk back here, it's more work. What's that? Every time you walk back here, it's more work. I know, right? <laughs> She's back there yeah, a couple typing more away. Right. The stuff um, there's your original budget. So, but that's for the whole year, right? right? Yeah, and then this the is how much we've spent right. as the end of May. So, so it's not what you have in front of you here yeah. is yeah. a uh, transfer. Right. Um, so right, so last year they found a bunch of algae. This is for the swim program at, or for Tritown Beach. Last year they had discovered a lot of uh, algae and it was going to require a lot of manpower to pull it off. So that's part of this. The other issue is that there is no swim program this year. So typically you would have um, the lifeguards that are running the swim program kind of offset the lifeguarding that would be at the um, that would be at Tritown Beach and this year we don't have the program so it's so what they're doing is transferring money from from the swim program that's not being used into Tritown Beach payroll to cover some of that extra labor. We got a problem with this one. Okay. The reason I have a problem is because the Tritown the swim program is paid only by Deerfield. Whiteley does not contribute. So this is a free handout to Whiteley again. Hmm. Okay. That's the problem I that I saying. have with it. Because because everyone else pays everyone pays into Tritown Beach, but only Deerfield plays into the 
the swim program. Swim program is exclusive gotcha. for Deerfield only. Yep. That makes and sense. Tri Town Beach program is an 80 20, it's either 81 29 or whatever. Whatever the percentage, right? I was going to ask the same question, John. Huh. Okay. So I, I got a problem, but I'm not sure how to resolve it. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but let me see what I can find out. What do you have? And granted that they've got to remove some of the algae, but don't forget, they also have a slush fund. Yes. So the question is, why aren't they using mm -hmm. their slush fund to use that? Mm -hmm. And why didn't they come back to the town for a special town meeting to add to that to resolve it without taking it from the swim program? Because they had no swim program last year because they couldn't get a head instructor. So that means that total budget should roll over into free cash. Yeah, so they want to take it from the swim program and put it in the Tritown Beach payroll. Yeah. And they shouldn't do that. But they there's should. only one town paying into the swim program. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so uh, Wait, th these, are, these are funds that they collected. This is actually not an appropriation in the, the 34. Okay. Say that one again. The swim program. One program it's, it's is only funded an, by the a, town of Deerfield. It's not, a, but it's not an appropriation. It's yes, it is. Town. It's, it's from revenues that were collected, right? No, no. It's not. It's a separate fund from the town of Deerfield for this one program only. They, they made a separate set of books for that. But this is. But where did the money come from initially? Our annual appropriation. Yeah. The town meeting. Town Voting. meeting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Remember, we almost didn't yeah. approve that. Right. Past year, and they, yeah, because they came didn't have back one. to us. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. The swim program. Here's the account. Yeah, there it is. 635. Yeah, I got it. Good point, John. Do we need to uh, hold this? Can we send, can we send a bill in for to uh, discuss this? So, sounds like it. As far as how the cost is going to be covered? What's that? She always has an answer for us. Um, so this is just Deerfield's portion. Waitley still has to put in their portion of the shortage. So when we put in this amount of money from our swim program in to cover that payroll, it's only to cover our portion of the payroll. The other portion would be funded by Waitley. They're, they would be doing the same thing. They wouldn't be pulling from their swim program. They'd be pulling it from some other place in their budget. The question I have is, we authorize them to keep money in reserve like we did with our rec department in Deerfield. Don't they have money in there they can use to offset this? Well, uh, I don't know. Was it in the Tritown's reserve? Tritown's reserve. I don't know that. Because we don't have reserve. We can hold till she comes out, but I, this was just our position, our portion of it, but I'm, yeah, whether you want to pull it from a different fund versus this one, I'm not well, sure. I think that they had funds, but I don't remember how much they had. Right. I don't know. So we could find out. Yeah, we'd have to good question. Brenda. Um, I have another one, and before I make copies, um, I want to talk to you about this. This is the, um, this is the additional amount needed to pay down the Oxford loan. Um, she's 99% sure it's 7720 bucks. You're not 100% sure. I think she has to enter in some minutes and finish up some other stuff. Would you want to put in that amount, or do you want to put in $10,000 to cover us no matter what the number comes out, and the rest would just roll into free cash? Um, since we have enough in there or You're talking about principal yeah principal uh, this is expenditure let's see this was the amount not covered by the sale of the Oxford property yeah it's principal and, int and interest I think yeah it was uh, yeah to cover additional amount needed to pay down Oxford loan it was the principal uh, yeah principal that was maturing a payoff, right yeah why, why uh, <laughs> God bless you. Expended, according to the May financial I Yep. My information only. Why did they overexpend? 
by $192,000. Because we were paying, I think we were paying it off, right? Wasn't that the idea? You may know we, this more than Wasn't that in the, shouldn't that be in the We knew some it, of it, it wasn't was going to be in. It was for town meeting, yeah. but then, then we knew that we were going to be amount. over. Um, but I just don't know. But, but and that was for principal, and I don't think we appropriated anything for, for interest. interest. Okay. This might be just the interest then. Or, no, it says no, principal maturing debt. Why is it reflected on the monthly financial statement? Then. Because the money was voted. That was, money wasn't put in there. We didn't have enough, right? I think that was the idea. We were going to pull it from free cash, and then we were going to then no, do we, it. We had enough, and I, but you'd, you'd have to ask Brenda what the... She just said that she's almost positive it's this number, but she has to do some final stuff on it, and being that this is the last time to do one, you know, we could do 10,000 and cover us, and then whatever's left just rolls into free cash. I'm not but that. I don't understand yep. why they've overexpended $192,000. I don't think that's that's not. That's what it says. Yeah, I know, no, but it. That's, but that's we anticipated the, uh, that overspending because we anticipated to we, pay it off. That was that was the payoff thing. Right. Uh, so that's that was not. Because normally we would have just been rolling on for years paying this off, but we right. no, I understand. but I we overspent the, the we overspent it by one ninety something to pay it off. And that was approved. Yes. yes. So why? So what, I understand what you're saying, but that's you know we're talking about an accounting, uh, and and I'm not even going to touch that. Yeah, where where the money was coming from? You mean why it's not no. in there yet? No, why isn't it showing up in there? Isn't it? As an appropriation. As an appropriation. To sense. offset yeah. that, yeah. yeah. It may be just it's going to take some time to do that. I don't know. Or that it can't be done, whatever. But mm. For, I mean, until the books are closed, I'm not yeah. really sure. She could answer that. We could wait on, the, on that and, wait. and on the other, if you want, until she gets down. But I just had two of these. and I, If you do decide to move forward, would you rather the 10 to cover us? I would. I'd rather be safe. Be safe than sorry. Right? Yeah. So I'll, I'll <coughs> it's going to roll to back to. Yep. yep. I hate the term free cash. Right. Yeah, right. It, it will roll. It's going to it one way or the other. Roll, all right. <coughs> Did we vote to use the next year's free cash? So no. This is this is we're taking we're going to take this from there. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not talking about it. It is. Yeah. Hi, Brenda. This is the last one. Thank you all for being so patient. <laughs> You're so important, we just waited. For you. <laughs> right. We hadn't seen you for months. We wanted to see you. I know. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Right. Last time you had the sniffles. Uh, okay. yep. Last time she had a broken yeah. hand. Mm -hmm. just yeah. yeah, that's right. Cover us on whatever we're going to do. for smacking your husband. But they had a question on why we're overspent 190 something, why it doesn't show an appropriation yet, and maybe it's just because of different years' books. Um, so, so uh, okay, so. Like May's numbers, whatever show. Yes, like and you're right. It would because I was waiting to post the, um, the town meeting votes for fiscal year 19 because there were some capital projects that were anticipated to be spent in fiscal 19 and I wanted to make it all one journal entry so I was waiting for that additional bill to come in so that's why just remember we You're all set? voted at the annual town meeting to um, so if we were looking at the end of June figure then that would be in there the appropriation would be the that appropriation much more. I, I will make that posting yet, right. but it hasn't been made at this point in time okay. for that. I'm good. Which spot are you sitting at? Oh, you sit anywhere. I've been all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> You're exercising. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and do this, the transfer. Reserve fund transfer of $10,000. That's for the principal. Yes. Is that principal? Do you do you remember when when so when last last year we had to pay them off at ninety five thousand dollar increments? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we had sold the two pieces of property, mm -hmm. but in order to to make to pay down those ninety five thousand um, dollar payments payments, we still needed seventy seven hundred that we didn't get from the sale. So we just figured we'd take care of it in a end of year transfer when we knew what we were doing with the Oxford property, so. I'll move to 10,000. Second. 
Um, Any further discussion? Just, you know, it, was, it was, was it Jeff? Jeff. Jeff. Put your hand up, Jeff, you want. And then who's second? Yeah. yeah Give a bunch of us. Brusky. A Who bunch. He's more important. <laughs> Right. All um, right, Allie. So if there you go, girl. <laughs> is no more discussion, all those in favor of the $10,000 transfer? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Right? Yes. Yes. And then I don't know if you want to take care of the Tritown Beach one. You still had questions on that. They were, one of the questions was, um, didn't they have a somewhat of a reserve or revolving did they not fund. have enough a revolving fund to cover this? Um? No, the, the Tritown Beach doesn't have a revolving fund. The swim program had a revolving fund. Oh, okay. But we had an appropriation for the swim program that didn't get used. So I just felt like it would be easy just to just to uh, move the money from there to the Tritown Beach. I, so you have a couple of things going on here. First of all, they started getting algae last year or whatever it was in the water that they weren't expecting. So they had additional labor costs to remove that last year. Well, they have the same problem this year. So, um, so you have that going on. But also, because we haven't done a swim program either of those two years, I think of the swim program, I think the, the, the gals that were, were teaching the classes, sometimes because they were teaching the classes, they were actually the lifeguard at that point in time. So because you don't have a swim program coming going on this year and you didn't have it last summer either, you have additional labor costs for the Tritown Beach due to that. Now this is just, this is just our 77% of the Tritown Beach. Waitley has to do their own thing. Bill knows that he's overspent it there too, so they had to do their own transfer for um, the costs that were over and above what, what they'd spent. What happens if they say no? I don't know. I'm not worried about Waitley. I'm worried about Deerfield. Okay, so that, that's in their accounting mm -hmm. system. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Or is this also in their accounting system? Well, this is ours. This is our portion of it. Okay. We pay this and we give it to them. What's that? This is stuff that we actually... This is, this is the town of Deerfield's portion that mm -hmm. was overspent. Okay. Did that answer your question? Or? Yeah, I don't like it, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think Bill likes it either. I think when we get to the budget this year, he's going to think about doing something a little bit different. Don't Maybe worry. we need to raise raise the uh, if this is going to be a continuing mm -hmm. problem. Right. He said he's been contacting the state. He's been contacting other organizations to see if anybody else has got this same issue going on. And uh, so far, he's been it. coming up empty-handed. Mm. So I think that's they why make a product that you can put in there to reduce the amount of seaweed. Yeah, I wonder but if I don't. I gave it to Sharon. She was going to give it to one of the girls on the uh, oh. swim program. But I don't know whether. Yeah. If okay. Bill gets it, Bill, it. he can do whatever he wants. That's the problem that we have. Okay, well, great. I wonder if there's, you know, grant money or UMass could, you know, or maybe well, that's I, I think he checked with UMass, that. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't I remember what, what sure. was, but I know that they're trying to address there's the There's work issue. to do this year on that. Yeah. yeah. I'll reluctantly make a motion we approve it. <laughs> I'll second. Was that a reluctant second, too? No, mine's okay. wholehearted. Hers is right on target. <laughs> All right, any further discussion? Okay, all of those in favor of transferring $7,700? Nope, uh, no. 34. No. 34. Oh, excuse me, 3400 $3,400. Yeah, I made it just program. a little bit higher because he thought there fields. might be some um, mowing costs. Yet, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Two. Two abstentions? So this is 502. Right. You're doing good. You learned to count. Should I document <laughs> who abstained? Is mm -hmm. that important? Yeah. And that was Bruce and Jeff. <clears throat> Bruce and Jeff. Yeah. So your last, um, your last transfer would it looks like uh, the transfer from the town, uh, from the school health insurance to the town's health insurance. The town, um, it's a moving target. The town overspent uh, on their health insurance. The school underspent. No, it's a matter of right. overall, we, overall health insurance was in total underspent, but 
the school had a little bit more in their appropriations, so I just thought it would be an easy appropriation transfer rather than a reserve fund transfer. Do they know you're doing it? Uh, I, it doesn't matter to them because it's still in the towns. The towns. That this is the Deerfield Elementary School, mm -hmm. not Frontier. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So move. Second. Uh, yeah. Any further discussion? I don't think we have any choice. Can that's, we, that's that's what you're <laughs> yeah. Can we do this? The, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it'd be different if the school had take on, taken on the appropriation in their budget, but it's not in their budgets. It's okay. in the town's budget. Right. We just chose to split them out so that we could right. show See. the town how much money we're spending for the school versus the town for health insurance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I, I, I get a question. Sure. Down the bottom, it says this procedure may not be used to transfer from a school department. That's what. Uh, right. We're not transferring from a school department. We're transferring from the health insurance to the health insurance. We just it's, label it's a, a town, town. It's a town health insurance okay. account. It's just that we split yeah, it out to my, show that the cost. Really my of the question school. when I said, "Can we do this?" Okay. <clears throat> right. So that's. That was unanimous. Right? I interrupt. Correct. Are there any others? I sure hope not. No. But if I come across something between now and Thursday night, I know you've posted a meeting for Thursday just in case. Yeah. Uh, so unless I hear, or unless I hear otherwise, that we'll we'll probably end up canceling the Thursday meeting. You're going to send so an email post out? it for now, and you, how are you going to let us know? Remember the old telephone thing? We'll that works? Dial it. Okay. <laughs> six, six, five. No, it's not rotary. It's. Oh. Beep, 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 I don't think you have to call really? Allison. I'll just. Yeah. I that's the thing on mine. I'm on the phone today. <laughs> Did you? I'll have you know. You can right. send me an email. If you want it was really if It's easier for you. <laughs> that's great. Okay. It's facetious at that point. All right. Thanks again for being so patient. This has been two really tough days. So. <laughs> You've been doing great. But you're worth Thank it. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I don't know if I am or not. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> are we going to talk about one more subject? Sure, go for it. Override. What's the significance of the override? The school got their money, but the, uh, the sewer. Yeah, sewer oh, did so not. Let, me, let me give you a little bit of a. Uh, did you broach the subject? Um, so. We're going to shoot for another debt exclusion vote on September 9th. Um, I'm hoping to hold an informational session on the sewer uh, needs, why we're asking for a vote, what the vote means, all the stuff that people don't understand. Um, and that's hopefully on the, I've got it scheduled for the 25th of, August, of uh, September. Of January, July. I'll get one <laughs> of the months on. right here. So, uh, 25th of July. And uh, I'm sure we'll do several others by the time that vote comes again. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking and research on why people voted the way they voted. I know we had some um, ground opposition going door to door to, to kill this thing. Um, I think it was mistimed. You know, if you ask me personally, the time now is to get, um, I just think it's so detrimental to the well-being of the town to tell USDA, no, we don't want their help. We need their help, and uh, we cannot do this project alone. Um, the time to discuss how much it costs, who the engineer is going to be, how much is it really going to be, how many parts we're going to do, is after the USDA says, we think this you know, you need to do a headworks, you need a secondary clarifier. We'd love to change the aeration because it costs way too much electricity. It's like woefully inadequate. Um, we'd love to get rid of the chlorine and do UV inhibitors. Those questions can be decided after we get the help. Um, we still need to all sit together as a community and say, okay, we need a headworks program. We need to get, and that headworks program means we need to get the trash out of our system. There is so much trash that runs down the hill into that plant and on a heavy rain day it gets pushed right through to the clarifier and then from the clarifier in right out to the river because we have no way to get it out. 
So we need a HeadWorks program to kind of clean all the trash out of the system. Um, what that entails, how much it's going to cost, we all can make that decision. Whether it's an auger monster, whether it's a bar screen, whether, you know, we, we can have engineers come in and tell us these are the pros and cons of each one, these are the cost of each one, but regardless, you need one of the two. And it has to happen sooner rather than later because we are moving ahead with a million dollars to repair a clarifier, um, and we call it a secondary clarifier. It's our only clarifier. We have no other backup. And that clarifier, what that does is starts to settle after it's been, you know, after the bugs have eaten everything, this stuff goes out to the clarifier and everything kind of settles out of it so we can get the cleanest water on the top as possible to then go into the contact chamber with our chlorine and then go out to the river. And right now, there's a bar that goes around and skims all the junk off the top. It can't skim, it's underwater, so it's just pushing muck around. There's so much fat and grease in this plant. I've got videos, pictures, I've got all stuff to show people. The fats that come into that plant are unheard of anywhere else. I don't know what, who's dumping them in, what's causing it, we're trying to research that, but you could almost walk on it. There, it should be clear, there should be a little bit of white frothy foam around the exterior of that, clarify, of that aeration tank. It's 75% closed with fat and it looks like foam on an ocean, this, this thick, like you could, it's massive, you could almost walk on it, big clumps. And, and you, the bugs are working on that instead of working on your waste. They're working on the, the wipes that are coming through and all the other trash that comes down there. They're not being able to do their job. And that big thing that sucks the most electricity out of this town is that aerator running constantly for our town. Um, that's only pushing a little bit of air, you know, a few feet down. That whole pit's 15 feet deep or, long, or bigger. And so we're not getting the aeration down to stir everything up enough so the bugs aren't working as well as they should be. Um, you know, I could go on and on, and I'll do that in an informational session, but um, we really need to fix this stuff, and we need the help to do it, and we also don't want to pay, we don't want to raise our taxes forever to pay for this thing. We can manage this debt. There's no reason we have to just raise everybody's taxes and pay for this forever. We can manage this, pay this debt off, and, and be done with it, and take it off the tax rolls. That's what this vote is about. The vote is about getting rid of that amount of uh, taxes when we're done with it. And that's what an override is, or the debt exclusion. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, and, and I agree with everything that you're saying here, but uh, prior to this vote, I had discussed with you and Carol and the board mm -hmm. uh, as far as getting a information, a fact sheet out, and Carolyn agreed that's what you know, she was gonna attempt to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that didn't happen. The other point that I brought up was that I, I tried to express that I thought I had the sense that a lot of people were a little leery of this because they didn't know how it was going to impact their taxes mm -hmm. and even if it was a ballpark figure so people could see you know what yep. basically what it was going to cost for an impact and I, I realize right. it's hard to nail down it is because you don't know what it's going to cost right right but if you could come up with a ballpark figure yep. about roughly how much this is going to impact you know per You're thousand right. dollars or whatever the case may be i think people could actually visualize that a little bit easier yep. understand what they're going to get into right and i think it may sway some people's thought process they were unsure yeah so i agree with that jeff just we'll, a we'll make it happen but no it's a valid one we need to we need to get that done go ahead the debt exclude it's the, the debt exclusion doesn't have an effect on the taxes right it's still we still have to pay for it uh, it's either yes, but it, it's it affects the two right, right. Let's, the not, two and let's not mislead the public, though. You're still going to have an increase in your taxes. Right, it's just that's not what I'm gonna saying. Be forever. Correct, right? correct. Well, it's not going to be tacked onto your tax base, uh, your tax base, and live with it forever. Correct. For, right. When know, we can manage years. this. Yeah. But whatever that debt exclusion is, whether it be 20 years or 30 years, 25 percent of that right, you're going to pay. You for are going to be paying yeah. X amount. Right. You're going to be paying X amount of dollars every year. So it does. You know, it might not be. No, that's I agree. Tax base. I, that's what I'm saying. Right. But it is going to increase increase your 
Yes, it will. Overall, it will. Taxes, overall taxes right. will go up. But pay as I said, I think if people see that dollar amount, it might. They'll understand it's a right. little more manageable. And especially if we're going to have some grant money. If we're going to do it all ourselves, it's, you know, it right. just makes no sense at all. And I'm, there's 11 communities fighting for that money right now. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't, I, I don't know if we're going to get it now. I mean, after we just said no to them, um, that's, that's heartbreaking. You know, after all that work and trying to get this going, um, so I'll, I'll do there's, a better job explaining that stuff. Um, there's another thing with a debt exclusion. A debt exclusion simply means that if you don't exclude it from your two and a half percent cap, correct. What happens is you have to start laying off people just to pay for that plant, whether you want to or not. Yep. And there's also another thing you got to tell them: a no vote cost you more money because a no vote only delays the inevitable. the inevitable that you're going to have to spend the money and once the state or federal government starts charging you ten thousand dollars a day penalties yep. after a year you got three point six million dollars and guess what the sewer users don't pay that the whole town pays that exactly didn't we vote to approve this expenditure we did, we did. and this last meeting was just whether it's going to be debt exclusion only. That that's was the correct only vote. but there was there was a there was an active uh campaign <clears throat> by people going door to door to tell people don't vote for this don't vote for the debt exclusion right don't we vote because that kills the project they knew what they were doing well it doesn't though it does, i thought it was approved no, to spend it, a million it was it was the vote we took at town meeting that money was was it was Contingent on the subject, subject, subject okay. to the debt exclusion, right. right? So we so it killed the project. That was right. you know, okay. and I and we could have done it without a debt exclusion contingent vote, but I wanted to be honest with the people, and that this was right. their opportunity to, to understand what our costs are, and um, that I wanted people to have the choice to have this vote. I I didn't realize that we'd have that much opposition against moving forward. I think there's a lot of confusion about what this really is, um, and they think look. You're just going to give you 19 million. You're just going to get one guy, and he's going to go out and bid the whole thing. And you know we're going to blow all this money that we don't need to. Um, I want to get as much input we can from everybody to say is this truly what we want to do, and have a buy-in from the community to go forward with this thing. But we got to start somewhere. We got to just say yes, we need the help. We are committed to doing this. We get the help, and then we all sit together and, and get it done. And figure out a way to make it happen. Is there any, is there any way of trying to at least get another ballpark from another company. I think that's what I'm hearing back is yep. that is being pointed at one particular company and one particular company Correct. alone. Yep. And there's a lot of... Well, uh, let, me, let me explain that. So um, we asked for bids to assess our plant and give us a roadmap. And we got two people, Stantic and Dave Prickett. We all felt Dave Prickett were... Most of us felt Dave Prickett was the answer that we wanted to go forward to give us a direction. I do agree. We do need third-party review. Maybe we need another engineer to come in and do this. I, I don't. I don't really need to take the time to find another engineer to tell us we need to do a, a headworks program and a and a clarifier and and do the items we want to do. I think at that once we get approval to move forward with this amount of money, w whether we spend 15 or 12 or 19. Um, we move forward with this appropriation and then we get those other ideas in, those other companies, those other engineers that come in and say, you know, Dave Prickett, you did a great job, we think that's good, but here's what we would think we would do. And then, and then our community decides, you know, that makes sense. Or, or somebody comes in and does a third party review of Dave's work and says, Dave, you should change this. And we, we like working with Dave and he's been with us all along and we, we make him adjust it that way. I mean, I think there's couple of different ways that we can go about this. Um, I, I understand where you're coming from, yep. but the public is leery about the $19 million period. Mm -hmm. And well, it's really especially 30. since there's only been one yeah. quote going down. Of course. It's, I've been getting the same feedback. Well, oh, That's why I've, I've heard it too. I've heard it too. And this is, this is one of the big things. And I understand we're not going to spend another eighty or $100,000 to get somebody else in here. But uh, is there any way of verifying that that yes. is a valid request? That's what I'm request? working on. Yes. Okay. Yep, I, and, I am. Because uh, because that's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. Sure. Is, is the other thing is going back to what Jeff said. You know, the 19 million is scaring everybody to hell because they're thinking 
now it's going to be paid. Right. Uh, there hasn't been a perspective put out that a lot of that capital improvements can be, whether you want to or not, but can be uh, done over a 40-year period. Correct. If you, and you bring it out over 40 years, it, it, you know, then it uh, uh, becomes right. a lot more feasible. Right. The other thing is a lot of people don't understand that there is also a lot of areas in the town, in this state right now, that are over $2,000 a year right now for sewer use. Mm -hmm. uh, this Deerfield has been at such a low rate for so long, uh, instead of it been gradually increased over the years, everybody would accept it. But to go right. from here to yeah, here. It's like turning on the gas. You know, you just, yeah. uh, and you know, and, and there again, they just, everybody's in their own little world and they're saying, well, how come? And they haven't seen uh, Weston and Sampson's reports of right. what other towns are. And that might yeah. be something that you have to put yep. together in a brochure so that people are aware that, you know, we're not alone. This is, right. this is whether you want to uh, believe it or not, this is typical for this time of, yeah. uh, as well as the fact that all these plants all throughout the state are, are that all, age, all in the same boat, right? You know, right. and they're all they're all going after the same money. So yeah, we, yep. you know, we have to do something. Yeah, we do. But the biggest thing, as I hear, is uh, is like you got one nineteen million, and really, I should, yeah. I should, we should be start talking about this as thirty million. Because really, we're ignoring half of the problem right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you're you're ignoring more than that. Because yeah. Because uh, you know, the original 19 million inc included the uh, collection uh, uh, system. Well, so really, what we went out for a grant on was 13 million. That's really what we. And then, as we talked in that last meeting, Skip was saying, "Look, we're going to be there. It's just going to cost us four percent more all the time. Let's just fix the the one plant that's our main right. workhorse." So that's where I kind of came up with, and, and that was, and really those are back of the envelope that was kind of best guess asking four or five different contractors, what would it take to do these items? It may come out less than that. It may come out, you know, hopefully not more. I mean, it's more if we add in collections because we have, we were figuring about 250,000 each phase to start doing collection work to the and pipes. I think the original report was, I believe, 3.8 million for the collection for the collection in, part in Deerfield alone. Okay, and that was originally included in the 19 million dollars, and then that yep. was thrown out. The uh, right to do the, to do the other phases. Um, so yeah, so all of that really, you know, that's why it gets so nebulous, and, and people can kind of pull on to these things that aren't really accurate, but they kind of sound like they make sense, and then people get scared they don't know, and then they just okay, I'll do won't do anything, yeah. and we have to move forward on something. I'll do a better job educating and trying to. You know, pull people together to understand. But the, but the other what's thing happening. that needs to be taken, and I, and there again, you know, unfortunately, you, you know, you couldn't put a question like, "Are you a sewer, sewer user or not?" in there because that would right. really explain a lot of the uh, feelings yeah. one way or the other. Yeah, is the fact that uh, you keep talking about the twenty five percent, so that's going to not going to be a, a, a huge burden for the town. However, the users, oh, the users are, are going to be like tremendous because. Yeah. You know, in all reality, it's not 75 25, it's more like 80 20 because Correct. the users are also part of the 25. They are the taxpayers. Yep. So it's going to be more like 80 20 when you right. do the 87 12. 87 12? Is so that the math? Well, oh, so. another thing, and, and mm -hmm. I think Allison mentioned this, and I think several of us have, including yourself, as far as educating the public. You know, it's pretty sad, and, and I will say it, I don't care, you know, I'm just trying to be honest with everybody, but it's pretty, pretty sad, a little disappointing when you only have roughly a little over 400 people come out and vote yes. on such a major yes. issue, yes. and you have, what, about 3,500 voters, it's registered 11 voters? 11% of the people came So, out. you know, you're, you're talking right, roughly yeah. about 11%, and, you know, people, Obviously, they can do what they want, but it, it's, it it's going to affect them. everybody in this town. Regardless. Because, right, whether you're sewer user or non-user, it's going to affect you because yes. it's going to affect your pocketbook. Right. It's going to affect your, if you do a budget, right. it's going to affect your monthly budget. It is. It or is. your and annual it, budget or whatever you do. And so, we, and you know, we're you, making a you decision. would hope that people would, I guess, you know, focus a little bit more on, on what's actually taking place here. Yeah. This isn't like $100,000. No, this as is a we, big as expense. As we've talked about, this is a big ticket item, yep. and we're looking at... Long know, time to With all work. said and done, 19 for this, and then right. you've got Old Deerfield, too. So, you know, you're, you're yep. up 
32 million, 35 million, somewhere in that ballpark. By the time we if, get around, especially to it, if we yeah. don't get grants, and so, we're looking at you know other help. Wherever and whether we whether they agree or disagree doesn't matter. Just come out and vote. Right. That's the biggest thing. If yes. you you know if you have an opinion about it. You know, involved, please learn. come and express yourself. And people have reached out to me too, and they want to learn more. They realized what happened. They're like, "How can I get? How can I get more educated?" So I'm trying to meet with people and, you know, get them up to speed on what's happening. And I'll try to do more informational nights with some videos of, you know, just to explain what the plant. A lot of people don't even know what a plant does. I didn't, you know. And you, you need to understand how it comes into the system, what's happening, why it's failing, um, you know. I, you know, I met with Keith, we all know Keith, and uh, I did some videos with him so he could explain, you know, how the stuff comes into the plant, what he's dealing with, um, and you see, you, see the, you see the effects of it. It's visually, you can see what's going on, and um, I think that'll make a big impact. And, and you're right, I hope more people participate. It really is, it's important to them. Um, I mean, that's what we do as leaders, is to try and show them where we need to move and what we need to do. And, I'm open to any changes down the road. I just think we need to get this first step going here. Well, another thing that needs to be brought out is the importance of that uh, headworks and so forth because uh, I believe Kevin said we're down to one place we can transport the sludge. Yeah. And people need to be aware that you know, if you think your O&M <clears throat> costs are high right now, well, uh, great point, you know, Bruce. we're down to one one place that we can bring this stuff. Where is the next place? And the problem is, and so is that, that that's something that needs to be pointed to users to get their support. As absolutely, well, the, because they're going to pay it in O&M. And the if major they don't part pay it in upgrades. And we're paying it, in, right. and it's in gallons that we get rid of this stuff, yep. and we're getting rid of. Um, more water than we need to because we don't have a headworks program we don't have a way to condense that stuff. Well it isn't even that. The biggest thing is Kevin says it's too dirty. The other plants won't take it because it's right. no pun intended. It's too dirty. It's too dirty. And you, you know, and you, you the know, people don't to understand that too. That's why we're shipping to Rhode Island and nobody else will Instead touch it. of just bringing it to a transfer station, if we can pull all that yeah. trash out ahead of time, condense it down, we get rid of that, then we're, we're getting rid of a lot cleaner stuff, yeah. less money, a lot longer time span, and those are our major costs. It's the electricity, and it's that. It's and I understand that, but I'm saying that's, that's where you need yep. to get the user support behind you. Right. Is is save you, you in know, the long their run. Their O and M costs will stabilize as far as sludge disposal and so Correct. forth. Is against what it is right now. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So great, great discussion. We'll I'll keep keep rolling on, and we'll one, get there. I have one quick oh, question. Oh sure. Do you have a feel for how long the equipment that will be installed? is expected to last? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, as far as I'm un understanding, a lot of, a lot, if it's kept up and done well, I would think um, 40 or 50 years you can get out of it. I mean, we've, we're at 40 years, for, what, 80s, we're, we're 80s We're almost something. at 50 years now. Almost yeah, 50 now. on that 70, clarifier. 71, 72, yeah. that the, so, yeah. so, it, so that helps in the argument some also, if it's a 30 year payback, but it's 50 years worth of equipment. Right. Yep, it does. It does. And, and if we have a cleaner program right now, you know, we've got all this trash swirling around, destroying everything that we have in there. If we can get all that out, then it's just waste going in. It's, it's water. It's not, you know, it's not all the, the shirts and sneakers and, and wipes and all that junk that goes around and, and it, it's, it scours all the metal. It gets wound up in all the gears. It makes the um, it makes everything run more. The electricity has to run more to get more um, oxygen in because there's so much junk and trash in there. We can make such better improvements than what we have right now. It's it's you know it's ancient. It needs to be brought up. And, and One again. thing I I want to just state again. If you say no, it's going to cost you more money in the end. The cost is going up three to four percent every year. We don't do it. If we didn't have this vote in 2002 saying that sewer users had to pay everything, which confused the whole issue for 15 years, the town has never paid a penny towards that plant other than what they used to pay, which was the maintenance of the uh, uh, pipes in the road, and that was okay. it. Yeah. And people don't understand that that's been typically what their obligation was, right. take care of the pipes in the road because the town owns the road. The sewer users do not. Right. Yep. So that's Points. one point that I want to make. And uh, this information campaign that you do has got to be a big deal. Yes. 
the last point I want to make is the one that Skip made earlier. The sewer study committee, people just quit because one other thing, not just an action, when we've given recommendations to the select board, to put it simply, they ignored us. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I said, take my name off the list, I don't want to be reappointed. Yep. Because if you turn around and you keep working and working and working for the town, they keep saying no, 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 they you know better. Stories. Let me yeah. tell you something. The three selectmen don't know any better than a lot of the people that are out here. There are mm -hmm. people that are in the construction in industry and knows what's going on. And those are the experts you should hire. Mm -hmm. When you got a guy who's on the sewer study committee who runs the plant down in Springfield, he knows a hell of a lot better than I will ever know anything. Yep. Yep. And when the guys like that's willing to work, and when we have issues like, for example, the uh, unit issue of putting uh, units for each building, which you have to do, you can't turn around and tell me that you're putting 30 or 50 people in a building and charging them one usage fee. Mm -hmm. Right. That doesn't make any sense. Right. And when one of the select board members says, absolutely not, we're not even going to discuss it, that's something that's wrong. Right, you have to discuss it. You have to discuss it and you have to figure out a fair way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I got on a sewer study committee. I wanted to make sure it was fair. Yep, you always have been. And then I found the place that it was a problem was with the selectmen. Mm -hmm. Because we made several recommendations and you just blew us off and said, did what you wanted to do. I don't recall that, but um, no. <laughs> but you can educate me. Um, I, you well, know, that's I, why I, I say see, I, see I think it's time to turn around and say we need a committee that the selectmen will be forced to listen to, like the school committee listen to the committee that turned around and put the uh, school building in. Mm -hmm. And they did the same thing with the highway garage. You're going to appoint a committee and get out of the process other than mm -hmm. the funding and the other stuff that's necessary. Yeah. I think you need that. You I need that for credibility, if nothing else. Yeah. Well, we'll continue talking. We'll continue okay. getting going. Do we have anything else that we need to discuss? No, I think they're doing a great job, but I don't yes, want I that to go. I don't want too. to go to their head, so uh, I just want yeah, to make absolutely. sure we point out some of the problems the and give them something to work too, on. But yeah, that's right. We always need corrective, corrective <laughs> So with that, I'll oh, make a motion to, to adjourn. Sir, good so you move Brenda. to adjourn? I'll second it. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.